this is gonna be interesting. It's good, like, we have a lot of like kind of random sleepers here too. Like we got him, you know, we got Burlap, who's kind of a sleeper. Burlap's like, definitely a sleeper. Even like other people from even other people that came out from Central Michigan. Like, yeah, yeah. Like Duel. Yeah, Duel came. It's like mm -hmm. I know Duel. Even like Goon Squad, good. like that kind of. Yeah, thing. Goon Squad's a sleeper. We all know Biggie's see. probably gonna win though. I mean, in he, my was, brain, he I, was looking real good. In my brain, it's Anthony over Biggie, but I don't know. So, oh, yeah, I, mean, I don't know. I kind of right. asked Biggie. Biggie said he was confident. and uh, But I, I've never don't really known Anthony as well as I know Biggie, so I haven't really talked to him as much today. But I feel like Anthony kind of walks around with the air of confidence, too. Yeah, you definitely. Know? You know, he's, he's got to. He knows he's going to win. He knows he's good. All right, here we go. Game one on Fountain of Dreams. All right. Marth Ice Climbers. This will be really interesting. Yeah, I don't think Maitland has a lot of experience in this matchup, but Maitland's style of Marth oh, is really out real good. Compliment him. That was super good. Because Maitland just really likes his... He uses like a lot of grounded moves to just kind of cover the down tilts. And it's going to be hard for climbers to get in. Ooh. Maitland maxed out of that one in a second. Yeah, Maitland's going to really have to be watching out for the, for the wobbles in this match, for sure. Yeah, it's going to be really cool to see how Maitland uses down tilt to keep, uh, keep the climbers out. Oh, I might have went for Nana, but that was smart by Maitland. It worked out perfect because... Uh, Popo still died. As long as you can keep the two ice climbers separated, it helps so much. Okay, here's the first wobble attempt. Let's see if he can mess it up or not. All right, all right. He looks like he's got it. I always like to watch the uh, always watch like like the watch the player cam of the person who's getting wobbled. Yeah. Like like the moment where they give up, like that kind of stuff, so important. Uh, yeah, it's funny. It's funny. I'm watching his hands right now. It's just he's just so cold. One, two, one, two. Uh, yep, just 200 beats per minute. Yeah. There was a ah, perfect ending too. There's a a player who used to play ice climbers at ETH, or at MSU that would. Put uh, headphones in and put on a metronome at 200 beats per minute. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's some grimy genius. stuff. Oh, here we go. Here's another chance. Wobble number two. All 808. Right. That, that might, is brilliant. That might tie right back up here real fast. Yes. And this is what... Uh, Joe guy's rolling in his grave right now. He doesn't approve, but... <laughs> Got to give, give it to him. him. Oh, no, here goes Maitland's hands over his mouth. Mm -hmm. He's not mashing anymore. And 808 always goes up a really high percent. I like that. I would do yeah, that, Yeah, I think it's smart. Mm -hmm. Well, you got to intimidate your opponent a little bit, too. You assert your dominance. I can go as high as I want. Yeah, I can go up to 300, and I'm going to go as close as I can. Wow, Maitland goes for the counter. That's really risky in this matchup, because there's only one thing cl the climbers want, and the counter doesn't protect you from it. Yeah, exactly. They just want to grab you. Yeah. Okay, oh, lots of blizzard fishing for the grab. Maitland's just been, down tilt. Yeah, all sorts of down tilt. Oh, there's a forward tilt, up tilt. Oh, really smart by Maitland, just using that up tilt to keep him separated. And there goes Nana. Yep, you're right, he definitely used a lot of the grounded moves. Okay, you should be able to kill Popo here. I'm interested to see, well, I guess we didn't really get to see it. I want to see how good his Sopo is, too. And like, he yeah, obviously, he's got the wobbles, but we'll see how good the game. <laughs> Oh, oh, that was really good. That was amazing that Nana didn't hit him while uh, he grabbed Popo. <laughs> Man, he's looking good. He's looking, doing a good job just kind of using up tilt to keep it separated a little bit, down tilt to kind of control the neutral. He's got oh. a very basic plan that's definitely working. Yeah, he's keeping lots of lots of sword swings out, always down tilting and kind of forward tilt. Not afraid to down tilt on the shield. Oh, that's a good shield drop. Oh, Maitland went for the big read right there. <laughs> Might have been a little greedy. Yeah, Maitland's definitely got those shield drops. I feel like it's starting to get to the point that I don't have to call it out when people shield drop anymore. Yeah, I kind of get crazy weird out when people don't. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Like, I'm like, oh, he's not shield dropping. Okay, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, what? A, it's a, it's a crazy world compared to where people would be hitting my shield and I'd like, I'd shield drop down on them. They go like, holy cow. <laughs> yeah, oh, you're pretty good at that. <laughs> it seems like shield dropping definitely started on the east side of the state, and now more and more west side players are getting it. Oh, and everybody's starting to realize, oh, it's really not that hard. Yeah, like, it's not that hard. I, I would just, I just didn't want to do it. Like, oh, there was a grab. Oh, wow. Yeah, this this is really crazy because the ice timer was able to get two wobbles, but Maitland still had a. I'll say it's a clean win. He, it was only one stock, but he looked. Uh, I mean, it was a so whole one stock. Exactly. He had a he had a good game plan. It's what it seemed like when he wasn't getting wobbled, everything was going pretty well. For yeah, him. that's what I think. I think Maitland's just got to like stick to his game plan. I'm gonna count how many times Maitland like deliberately jumps on his own like accord. I don't think it's many. I don't think it's gonna be at all. I bet he won't leave the ground. Yeah, I don't think he deliberately. Oh, there's one. There's one. Okay. A little bit. All right, now he's gonna start jumping a bunch of these here. He knows if he's using those platforms, he's down. He's a little scared of that wobble. Yeah, exactly. The, the platforms are so important when you're playing against ice climbers because people can't grab you as easy on platforms. Like, ooh, okay, nice down throw forward smash. Wow, that was really smart by Maitland. Oh, oh that's I think disastrous. Ice got that was crazy. Yeah, exactly. He was trying to go down there and save uh, save Nana, and then yeah. he lost both of them. It looked like he was close. I don't know. Yeah, who knows? I don't know how ice climbers work. Stuff happens. Lots of empty hops from Mayland. Which is yeah. funny because you just started talking about how he never jumped. Yeah, yeah maybe the commentator's curse. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. Okay. Oh, okay, he just got there in time where Nana was about to eat that. Yeah, that was an interesting choice. I kind of liked it. 
one thing I like to look at when I when I see a player play as time or two is like so like is Maitland kind of choosing to like when he separates him, is he choosing to fight Nana or trying to go after Popo more? It looks like Maitland's like he's not just concerned about Nana. If he separates him, he's trying to go after Popo. Yeah, exactly. It looks like he's trying to just get the kill. Yeah, trying to get the kill, not really but I mean I don't really approve of that. Yeah, it's interesting. You usually want to try to go for Nana just because she's so easy. She should be so easy to kill. Yeah, and and the fact that especially I mean at this level of ice timers, not I don't know that much about eight away, but a lot of like ice timers players they can't win without the wobble. Like either they have a much much harder time. Yeah, that's their that's their main that's their main plan. Yeah, least, especially from like low percent. But we've only really got to see you know eight oh eight play Sopo too often, so or not yet this set at all. Well, especially it's so much of it too. It's like if your game plan is like the wobble, then when you lose Nana, like you're just losing so yeah. much of like so much of your plan. It's like, dang, I have to rewrite the whole book right now. Yeah, it's like, what am I going to do? Start wave dash and down smashing. It's almost easier to get in your brain, oh, I'll just let myself die and get Nana back. But that's not what you want to do. Nope, nope, you got to try to get as much percent as you can at least. Get him at least above 20 so you can wobble him again. That's the key, I feel like. Oh, he goes for the Nana pull and gets the grab off it. Oh, And is able to follow off the Nana throw. Okay, so he did, so he's got some cool other stuff. Yeah, that was just a wobbler. Oh, he tries to get in there. Maitland's really good with these down tilts. Definitely. His oh, he sneaks behind him with that down smash. That's smart. That was, that was melee right there. He's playing the game. Yeah, for sure. Oh. Maitland's at that good percent, though. Maitland's got it. Really doesn't want to eat a few ice blocks right now. Just made me down to. I love it. Oh, okay. Those ice blocks get him halfway to being able to get wobbled. I like Maitland. He uses the little jump now. He's like baiting him to come in with it, then he puts the down tilt out and lets him run into it. Oh, see, right there, he went for Popo, but then he got, ended up getting hit by now. Yeah. I. It's tough. It's kind of a hard call to make. Yeah, I feel like if you can kill Popo, like it's it's so worth it just because it's like that's that's the stock right there. Yep. Okay. Oh, that was that's really good. good. My Maitland actually that manipulating the hitboxes to just keep him separated and then hit stun. I'm interested. Like Maitland doesn't. I've never seen him play this matchup. He's playing it like really well. I'd say for you know the knowledge I thought he had. <laughs> yeah, it definitely looks like he knows what he's doing. He's you know, so much against the wave dash characters with Marth is dependent on like your down tilt and your nair. Like That's just so those true. moves, like just that keep out that area right in front of you. Maitland's doing a pretty sick. Those are his best moves, and he's doing a good job using them. Uh, it's, it's cool to see Maitland because the old Maitland took like he's been kind of quitting on Maitland. He's going to 64 a little more, but mm -hmm. I think into dance games. He's kind of like one of the players that like. If you take a little break, you get better. Like for a couple weeks, it's like it has, that's it what I kind of I felt like a little bit too. Like you start getting like too mental about it, then you're just like. Yeah, sometimes it kind of clears your head out. You're like, oh wait, I just have to like hit him. Like yeah. I've, been oh, yeah. I've been overthinking this. Like. <laughs> oh, okay, that's not a good dash. Attack. Oh, good mash out by Maitland at 55. I think that was only one pommel. That was really good. Yeah, that was dangerous. He didn't have a. He was just starting to get Nana like synced up. Yeah, he was like. It was almost ready to like start pummeling. So then you really can't get out. Oh, oh, good job. Maitland's been doing a good job of like crouch canceling the the blast and then putting out a uh, down yeah. right away so he doesn't get grabbed. Yeah, if he uses that little ice that little ice move or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mait I like Maitland's ground game. It's definitely That's I'm learning good. something about this matchup from it. For sure. Oh, that was I would have went for the girl. Oh, oh that yeah. Maitland, Maitland had a plan. All right, yeah, Nana's dead. How's he gonna kill Popo down here? Oh, he for it. I like it. I can respect it. Maitland's not usually kind of guy will go for something too crazy. Maitland shakes his head because it's not over yet, but that's all right. Maitland just can't force it now. This is when 808 could, like, you know what I mean, though? Oh, all right, yeah, there you go. Oh, that, that was, was a good, good. Pivot, yeah. That was pretty good game. Shout right, out to the job, wobble, though. Yeah, got a couple wobbles in there for sure. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Good stuff for Maitland for not falling apart after getting wobbled on the first stock. Zero percent. Yeah, it's like, whew, this, this is how this is going to go. I mean, it's always so hard when you get zero to death anyways, especially the wobble is so demoralizing. You just sit there and wait. 